Hey everyone, just another update on the wireless 3D printing project. Uh, Pro Bono PD reached out to me about this new wireless printing repository uh, that uses the UART lines on the control boards of 3D printers to basically uh, Wi-Fi enable them through the ESP8266, which is an earlier chip than the one I'm, I'm using today. Um, we still have the ESP32S2, uh, it talks over USB host mode and Wi-Fi. And then I have a USB-C to micro cable going to the printer. And uh, on the UART pins, uh, FTDI cable going to my computer so we can see the console output of the microcontroller. So if we go to the console or the terminal, um, I've set up uh, the wireless printing software. So it has uh, you know network connection and everything. Um, that hosts this uh, nice web 1.0 style web page. Um, it says we need Delta V2, that's just because I have uh, connected it previously. Right now, actually, I just refresh the page. It says unknown because nothing's connected to anything right now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, show the console while I'm plugging in USB to the SP32. And you can see that it is uh, detecting the printer, it's sending commands, retrieving the printer name here, uh, it's getting temperature information here and reporting it as automated temperature there. Uh, and then if we refresh the page here, we now have the Mini Delta V2. Uh, I've previously uploaded uh, a simple G-code file just with the M28 homing command. Uh, that's actually on the uh, SPIFFS, uh, the embedded flash file system on the chip. So if we press this button, we should actually get to see uh, the printer home itself. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, you can also see it's sending the G28 command. Uh, it's getting other stuff out of it. Uh, everything seems to be working pretty OK. I suspect this, the code is still pretty fragile. But um, this is actually great progress, because I was expecting to have to implement all this myself. Uh, someone else has already done it. This is fantastic. So. Uh, with any luck, we can uh, send this through the home stretch and get wireless 3D printing that basically acts as a OptiPrint server um, going over USB host to a 3D printer lickety-split. More to come.